Greetings Kerbonauts, this is Kerbal Space Program, I'm Bob Fitch, and today we're going to be doing Turbo Time Ask Me Anything number four. That's it, number four, and we're going to cover part files today because people are always asking how I do all these different things with the parts, and it's actually quite simple. Let's go take a look. Suppose I want to know what it takes to make this probe core. Well, first we have to go find the part file. My pristine copy is just called plain old Kerbal Space Program, so we'll go into there, and then into Game Data, into Squad, then Parts. Since it's a probe, we'll go down into Command, and then find the Probe Core Hex, which is the one I have pulled up. That allows us to find the file, and we can open that up to see what's in it. Starting at the top, you can see we have name equals probe core hex. That name is used by KSP internally. It has nothing to do with anything you're going to see external to the part itself. It's how KSP references this part inside the saved games and inside your craft files so that it knows how to find the part information again later. When a mod maker says this update may break save files, this might be one of the ways in which they've done something that could break the file. If they change that name after you've already used the part, then KSP won't be able to find the part anymore, and then your save will break. There are other ways to break save game files. I'm just saying this is one of the ways that's fairly common. You'll load up your, your saved game, and one of your ships out in orbit will say, cannot find such and such part, and then it wants to delete that ship from your saved game. Next down, we have module. Everything is going to say part here. Author title, manufacturer, and description are all just cosmetic, and those are things that show up in the game and the VAB and that sort of thing. They don't really play any part in anything. We need to jump back up here to the module equals part for a second, because that goes hand in hand with this down here, the category equals pods. There are various categories, arrow, utility, science, whatever and that shows what tab it's going to be under. Subcategory is currently always zero, but in the future, they have talked about how they're going to add subcategories. Now jumping back up here to the mesh, this defines what model is going to get used. You can see that they typically, for squad, just default everything to model.mu, but lots of mod makers will use different model names, and so you might see different things there. Also, instead of it saying mesh, it might actually have a model section. A model section looks like this and allows you to define a model that isn't in the same directory as the part file itself. Or, like this, you can reference more than one model that will all go into making the same part. Going down the line, the rescale factor just scales everything about it. Most of the time it's set to one, but you can scale it to whatever, and when you do, all of these down here, these node locations, they're going to scale along with it. So even though this one says 0.1875 for the two locations, if I were to change the rescale factor, those would automatically scale so that as the part gets bigger, those nodes will move farther away from the center of mass of the object. Crew capacity equals zero just means you can't put Kerbals inside the probe core. That would say something like one or three if this had been some other capsule or lander. Now coming back to these node stacks for a second, this is the X, Y, Z coordinate of where this part is going to be relative to all the other parts in this whole collection of parts. Then here we have the X, Y, Z direction of where the node connects. So because this one has a 1 where the y coordinate would be, that means it connects in the up and down direction. X is in and out toward the launch pad, and Z is left and right when you're looking at the launch pad. That used to be different in point two four, but they changed it. Now everything's rotated inside the VAB. And last on the line, uh, currently it shows a zero here, but this is the node size, and it plays a part in how big the little green ball is on the screen, as well as how strong the connection is between this and whatever it's connected to. The other thing that affects the strength of that connection is the mass. Things with larger node sizes and things with larger mass tend to connect to everything else a little bit better. Moving down the line, you can see that we have our tech required here. This shows where in the tech tree it's going to show up. The entry cost is how much it is. The cost is the uh, kerbolians or whatever the dollars are in the game. And now we skip down here to attach rules. 
Those define exactly how this thing can be connected to other things, whether it stacks, whether you can surface attach things to it, whether you can surface attach it to something else. When you can attach it surface to something else, then there would be an extra node underscore attach and it would show the coordinates of where the attachment point is for that surface attachment. Next, we have the drag model type, which is set to default most of the time. Another choice is override. You might see that in some parts made by various mod makers. And then the drag values here allow the game to know how the aerodynamic system is supposed to affect this part during flight. Crash tolerance is in how many meters per second can it hit the ground before it's destroyed. And of course, max temp is if it heats up above that, it will explode. Explosion potential, oh, don't worry about that one for now. It gets more complicated. These lines with the double slashes represent that those are comments. They don't actually do anything. They're leftovers from an older era of KSP. Then we have vessel type equals probe. This defines that this part can be used as the root part to start something else. Anytime you have a vessel part equals, that piece can be a root part. If there's no vessel type equals inside your thing, you're not gonna be able to use it as a root part and it'll show grayed out until you have a root part and then you can attach things to that. The probe just shows what type of ship it's going to be when it starts out. It could be station or lander or whatever you want it to be. Scrolling down, we now see the modules. Modules represent bits of code that have been written by either squad or mod makers. It's how we attach our add-ons, our plugins, into these parts. In this case, you can see that these are all using the default squad modules, module command, module reaction wheel, and module SAS, which all add those capabilities to that piece. Sections inside, like this one, show the resource cost of having that module active. If you put a resource cost on something and you don't have whatever that resource is, that module gets disabled. And then we can see a section like this, which says resource, and that just tells you that that's what's going to be on there. It's going to have 10 electric charge. In an effort to keep these short, I'm going to end right here. In the next AMA, I'm going to show you how to make a brand new part and weld a couple models from different mods together to make your model in your own part. Until next time, I will see you later, Kerbinauts.